guys, I cannot believe Lowe's sold me this crap. Look at this. Alright guys, so I'm over here at the Sawyer's house and Alex is over there mowing being the uh, good one in the relationship and uh, Jacob's over here just kind of messing around with me. We're gonna just play with rocks as you can tell. Yeah, Jason likes rocks. Yeah, but uh, we're going to uh, take out some of these and basically these are gonna be the post on my porch. So uh, let's cut them. Maybe I can, maybe once this falls and we maybe get a little bit uh -huh. where I can work safely around you. So you gotta be way over there. Yeah. Fall on you? Well, it fell on me and you. And then it pushed the chainsaw down to my foot. to go. It could have <laughs> potentially hit the uh, fence. <laughs> Dang it, wasn't even recording. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Alright guys, so we uh, got this tree down and we got the goats doing all the heavy work. They're going to eat all the little, uh, I don't even know what you call them. Technically, I guess they're not leaves, needles. And uh, they're eating it all down. They're going to get a little snack before we drag it off. Pretty strong. Rotate that tree down real quick.
I mean, really, in trailer, it's not a whole lot of tree to it. It's pretty skinny up there. Yeah. So I think once we do notch it, we can kind of keep it. Yeah. Just notch it to where it's more on the front side. Yeah, we're just going to yeah. shoot this way. Even though it's going to hit and turn, but I think it'll still be fine. Yeah, I think it'll keep it more that way. I've never been much of a doer. More of a talker. Not very good yeah. rope because it's so daggone heavy. There we go. You wouldn't be a very good Batman. No. <laughs> almost like wrap it around a tree and then I pull it this way so it's going to keep it from yanking out of my hands you know what I mean yeah like if we wrap it around oh, this and then I hold it he didn't trust me
Yeah. 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 one all right guys so we got it loaded that was a uh, pretty good workout and as you can tell hopefully pretty purple it won't stay that way but it looks good I found out real quick having people to help is amazing <laughs> really really good the job a lot easier yeah for sure. he's a man of few words unless he's talking trash about me <laughs> but this one right here this is all the uh, help hey Hello. nope but uh <laughs> yeah we cut a total of I don't know six to eight logs like that yeah, and clear out that whole area. Yeah, clear out that whole area. It doesn't look like a whole lot of work, but man. Yeah. Oh, when you're limbing them, and then you know you got a whole giant brush pile, and then you got to pull them out of there. Over those rocks over and the rocks, and you got to use this dodge yeah. to do it. <laughs> yeah, come on. But yeah, I mean, and these things aren't. They may look a little small, but they're pretty heavy. Yeah, they were. Uh, they're about 11 feet long right now, but. Uh, we just cut off about two feet and just that alone saved a lot but i got my planter back here that you guys saw if you haven't uh, uh checked it out some dogs over here knock them down uh not too far. um they built this awesome planter for me out of uh trees that they milled up out of cedar trees so i'm gonna link that down in the description go check it out it's super super awesome literally from tree to bed yep 
So I saw one of y'all's comments. Someone said that should put a mattress in it. Let me sleep in it. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. So I might. Yeah, I don't know. If I don't grow food, a tiny I, might, bed. I might sleep in it. There you go. But um, what was uh, some of those comments? People were jabbing at me, saying I'm not used to a finished product. Oh yeah, you're not used to uh, a, a project game finish. <laughs> uh, there were some funny ones. That they were just poking fun. I don't think anyone really was mean about it, but it was funny just seen some of the times yeah so if you guys have a better comment than that go over to their video and comment down <laughs> below and uh you can roast me real quick um i don't know they're pretty funny it's always comments like that they're funny we talk way worse about each other than that <laughs> off camera but yeah uh, guys thanks so much for all the help with this and um i guess it kind of helps me put post up y'all been wanting to clear that for a while yeah we've been wanting the the area that we were in i've been wanting to clear it for that fence line because these trees were pretty close to the fence and them falling over, they just really didn't want it. And also it clears an area for us to get our four wheeler to check our fencing and stuff like that. So we're, something I've really been wanting to do, honestly, since I've moved here, so. Yeah, they told me that they're about, I don't know, maybe a week away from getting a, a tractor sponsorship. Yeah, so they gotta, awesome. they gotta clear that. No, they're not, but if anyone out there wants to sponsor them, we feel free. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is Sawyer Ridge Farm. If you guys haven't checked them out, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know them, but if you are new to the channel and you don't know, them yet uh she's a cool one he's kind of yeah <laughs> so um yeah leave a comment down below his name is jacob if you want to rip him a new one more than uh you rip me a new one feel free but uh yeah please go check them out but i gotta get back and show you guys how i get this out of the truck without their help <laughs> disaster or, or what i can't wait to see the video <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll see if i have a bed left on my truck so all right guys if you haven't checked them out please do well i was driving home from the sawyers and my car messed up and uh, the belt busted. Luckily, I wasn't too far from a shop. I Googled it, came to the shop. It's Jerry's Automotive in Locust Grove, Oklahoma. And I tell you what, these guys came out, fixed my truck right here, not even in the shop. As soon as I got here, did it really, really quick. The price was next to nothing. So if you're ever in Locust Grove and you can get some work done from Jerry's Automotive, I highly recommend them. They were very, very nice and uh, I lucked out big time. All right guys, so I made it back. I was able to take a shower at the Sawyer's house, so that was awesome. And uh, we ate really good, ate some awesome burgers and hot dogs and whatnot. But now I'm home, I'm by myself, so I need to get all the stuff out by myself. Hopefully it won't be a disaster. All right, so the garden bed was the easy part. Now these logs are pretty big. It took all three of us to get them in the truck. But if I can get a sawmill out of the truck, I can get some logs. Maybe. And they sent me home with a bag full of poop, rabbit poop.
my tailgate's gonna take a beating. I put it already did. So you get them all by yourself. And uh, my tailgate was already messed up, so to be completely honest, I wasn't worried about that. But yeah, Sawyer's gave me all this uh, rabbit poo to put in my uh, raised garden bed. So whatever I grow, hopefully grow even better. All right guys, so I got the uh, planter in here. I'm gonna do it in this fence. That way deer and stuff like that can't come in. The dogs will kind of keep uh, animals like that from getting into my garden. But the dogs won't mess with it, so I'm not worried about it. So what I'm going to do is the Hugo culture, I think that's what you call it. I don't have a clue. Uh, I kind of learned about it from the Sawyers. And basically, you put a bunch of stuff that's going to basically break down. You put logs and sticks and leaves and all that down at the bottom. Then you put your soil. Then I actually got some rabbit manure from them. And then I'm going to put my plants. So right now, I'm going to go get a bunch of logs and fill this sucker up. So luckily for me... There's a lot of stuff around here that's already broken down and that type of thing. So all of these are perfect. There's sticks, there's logs, there's leaves. All this is gonna work perfect. So I'm gonna take this and put it in the bottom of the uh, raised garden bed. All right, so I got it filled with logs, sticks, and uh, leaves about halfway. It's gonna get pushed down a little bit, but now I need to get all that uh, dirt out of here. But if you're ever curious on um, how I do my videos, nature's tripod right here. I just stack them up and I put the camera on top. Use what you got, same concept with this. You don't need to fill the whole thing with dirt, use what you got. Nature already gave you rotted logs, sticks, and leaves that are gonna break down and uh, work out in your favor. So 
let's go ahead and uh, get this and put it in here. But first, guys, this was going to be my intro. I thought about it. I was going to do a clickbait because it's funny. And be like, you know, facing this way and be like, guys, I cannot believe Lowe's sold me this crap. Look at this. It's literally cow manure and compost. So I was going to do a clickbait title and be like, I can't believe Lowe's sold me this crap. But I decided, nah, let's just keep it real without clickbait. I don't want to be like the mother channels. All right, guys, so it literally filled it up to the top. I don't think I could have got any better on getting, buying the bags. I bought 10 bags of the cow manure and compost and then five bags of the gardening soil to put on top. And then I have probably, I think it's, I don't even know how big that bag is, a 50 pound bag of feed. So it's probably, a, it's about two thirds full of uh, rabbit manure that uh, the Sawyers gave me. I have it over there so the dogs don't mess with it. But um, I won't put that on until I actually go to plant. But this is big enough. This is a four by four uh, raised garden bed. It's super cool. It's cedar. It's gonna last me a long time. And uh, I think it looks cool. It's gonna look really, really cool with the uh, cabin uh, with cedar on it and everything. So, so I'm pretty excited for this. This is awesome. I didn't really have time to be building a uh, raised garden bed and the Sawyers knew that. So they like, they gifted me this. So like I said earlier in the video, if you haven't checked it out, please check it out. I'll uh, link it and everything down in the description and uh, kind of see how they made it. They literally from a tree, cut it down, milled it and built this. And now it's on my property and I can grow. So straight from the Sawyers house to my house to grow food. I am very, very thankful for the Sawyers. They're amazing people. They're awesome. If you have not subscribed, please go subscribe. Ugh. I'm very, very thankful to the Sawyer. So if you have not subscribed to them, please feel free to go subscribe and comment on the video and to say thank you so much for building this for the Crockers and, uh, well, Jason. And uh, I can't wait to put some plants and uh, stuff in here and grow some food. It'll be simple. It'll be uh, green onions, cilantro, and uh, maybe a couple peppers. Just a really, really simple thing that I can make some stuff and add in tacos, breakfast, stuff like that. So. If you could think of anything else that's really small to fit in a little 4x4 four four, uh, raised garden bed, please let me know. Alright guys, so that was a pretty good day and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it for the video and I'm going to try to enjoy the rest of my day. I got just a little bit of sunlight left. Just kind of relax, enjoy it and uh, I'm pretty excited to be going out to the Sawyer's house some more and we're going to try to mill up a bunch of the uh, cedar for the siding and then I think I'm going to go with a lot of y'all's opinion on not going with the clear part on the porch because a lot of you said that you had it and they turn pretty gross pretty quick and then every time 
sticks or leaves or whatever um, fall on it then it just kind of gets nasty and stuff like that so I'm gonna kind of just trust you guys in that one I'm gonna do the uh, metal roof and so I'm gonna try to pick that up pretty soon Jared is coming up for the weekend he'll be here Friday Saturday and Sunday and leave Monday at some point so I might try to get uh, a couple people to come out and help me out while Jared's here and then um, try to really knock this out maybe put some cedar on the walls get the roof all the way on there build some more of the deck all that stuff I'm getting paid again so a lot a lot is coming and if you guys can't tell I started posting every other day it gives me more time to work more time to do stuff and it's less stress on me to have to try to edit as much try to upload as much because honestly that took a huge 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 part of my day was just trying to upload videos but before I get off I just wanted to talk about my parents channel they got 5,000 subscribers they got over 5,000 subscribers so their goal was to get 5,000 Jared's goal was to get 15,000 and my goal was to get 60,000 hit those milestones well my parents got over the 5,000 Jared got over 16,000 subscribers and I got over 60,000 so pretty pretty cool to see the Crocker family kind of just going up and uh, doing our thing and trying to work hard and push and all that stuff and on that note to get my parents to that 5,000 and over, we were doing a giveaway. Well, I'm giving away $100, Jared's giving away $100, and then we had two um, subscribers donate $100 each to give away, which you guys knew the other day. I said 400 bucks. Well, my parents threw in another 100, so there's $500 to be given away, and you have it until Friday to go to subscribe to my parents' channel. It's Crocker's Simply Southern. There'll be a link down in the description. And if you guys want a chance to win, we're going to do five winners. So five people will win $100 each. So that's going to be pretty awesome. So if you guys are interested in getting a little extra money, we're going to call that the extra stimulus package from the Crockers. And so uh, this will be your spending money. You can do whatever you want with it. You know, whatever you need. Maybe you need to pay some bills. Maybe you need to, you know, fix a car. Maybe you need to pay your cell phone bill or buy some food. Or you just want to blow it on whatever you want. You can do what you want with the money because it's yours. And so if you want a uh, chance to win, please go subscribe to uh, Crocker Simply Southern. And then you have until Friday to do that. And then we'll be picking a winner uh, shortly after that. So... All right, I'm going to go ahead and get off. I'm going to do what I need to do, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning on Coffee with the Crockers. If you don't know, that's my side channel. So Coffee with the Crockers, if you want to check it out, see you in the morning. Appreciate you. Love you guys. Whew. It was a good day.